Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sundays at Noon online concerts filmed here in the Sculpture Hall at the Hugh Lane Gallery. We're delighted today to have soprano Deirdre Moynihan and guitarist Alec O'Leary with us. Before we begin, I'd just like to thank uh, the Arts Council of Ireland, Bear Quinn and Stephen Tiernan for recording the concerts, and the staff at the Hugh Lane Gallery for their support. Thank you very much for joining us, and enjoy the concert. Good afternoon. We're delighted to be here today to bring you a collection of sunny Spanish music. Uh, today our programme is based around a beautiful collection of folk songs arranged by Gar uh, Federico Garcia Lorca, who is one of the greatest um, literary figures of the 20th century, um, certainly the leading Spanish uh, literary figure, figure of the 20th century. And throughout his life, he had a great um, affinity for the folk music of Spain, and in particular the region where he was from, which was Andalusia. And he assembled this collection of folk songs, which although they have been adapted, adapted and arranged over the years, um, they have, I suppose, stayed in the popular repertoire, um, certainly until this day. And we're delighted to bring you um, 11 of these songs here today. And we're going to open with what is probably the most popular song, and the Jaleo. And, and the Jaleo has been adapted, um, particularly the words, many times over the years. And uh, even in the, the Spanish Revolution, it was um, used by the Republican army as a call to arms uh, to defend their villages and towns against Franco. Uh, but we're going to sing and play a gentler version today. The words of the chorus, the refrain are, come clap hands, what's all the fuss about? Let's go a hunting. And the song itself depicts three very simple scenes. In the first verse, I run to the green pine tree, uh, hoping to see my sweetheart, and all I see is the dust from the carriage as it moves away. The second is a warning to a dove. I say, for I am a hunter and do not come to the field, because if I see you, I may kill you, and that will break my heart. And the last we learn of a dove in the Wall Street who has been killed, and I say that I will take the flowers from its crown with my own hands. And we'll follow that with a simple love song, De lo Cuatro Mulero. And I basically, I'm saying of the four young men who are driving their mules to the water and to the fields and to the river, the man who is tall and dark has robbed my heart and he is the man I will marry. And the last verse in that song, it changes a little and I say to my mother, Mother dear, why do you look for the fire above the street when from your own face shines forth um, the living flame? We're going to follow that with Los Morias de Jaén, which is a tale of infatuation. A young man is infatuated with three young girls, um, Axa, Fatima, and Marianne, and they go to Jaén to pick apples and olives and he is so infatuated with them, he says, who are you who rob me of my life with your beauty? And they simply say, we are three Christian girls who are Moors in Jaén. And the last in this selection of four is Las Tre Jojas, which simply means the three leaves. And it's a cautionary tale about being, I suppose, compelled to love someone who you know is bad for you and is going to cause you a lot of pain, but you are still in love with them. So first, Anne Bachelet. Thank you. 
And continuing with our uh, Spanish theme, uh, this is a wonderful little piece, a small piece by a great Spanish composer, a very uh, unknown Spanish composer, um, relatively unknown Spanish composer called Eduardo Sanz de la Mazza. Uh, and he came from a very musical family, a lot of composers in the family. This particular one was probably his best known piece. Um, it's written in a tremolo style and um, it's called Campanas del Alba, which means Bells of Dawn.
We're going to continue now with a beautiful song collection by the Spanish composer Joaquin Rodrigo. And he has written many beautiful works. He's probably best known, I would think, by uh, the Concierto uh, de Aranjuez for guitar and orchestra, and particularly the exquisite second movement of that uh, concerto. But he has written so much gorgeous music. And this is a beautiful short collection of three songs, again inspired by the folk music of Spain. Uh, the first of these is De Ronda, and it's a simple love song. And there's a very interesting metaphor for love in the second verse, where he describes it as a two glass ladders in his heart. And he says that desire climbs up one and affection climbs down the other. And we follow that with Adela, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous melody. And it's, I suppose, an age old story of love, the love triangle. And um, Adela is in love with Juan. And of course, he betrays her with her best friend, Dolores. And she becomes so um, sick with the pain of this and uh, this lost love that she feels she will die. And the collection ends with En Jerez de la Frontera. And it tells the story of a miller. And his wife is really, really beautiful. And she's regularly com uh, compared uh, to the beauty of a rose. And one day a new magistrate comes to town and he decides that he loves this woman and he begs her to love him back. And she just smiles at him and says, thank you, that's flattering, but I love my Miller.
we're going to bring you back to the collection by Garcia Lorca now and sing three from that collection. The first of these, I suppose the theme is particularly uh, relevant to many of us at this time. It is the civilian people or the people of Seville and they say that they love their home so much but that they carry it with them in their hearts wherever they go, which is something we can all identify with at the moment, that home is a place, but also we can take it with us if we're not there ourselves. And uh, it's a very joyful expression of this, and it's called uh, Sevellanas del Silio. And we'll follow that with a beautiful tale of two pilgrims who journey to Rome because they want to get permission from the Pope to marry. And you'll hear in the middle, it changes to a minor key, and that's where they're talking to the Pope in his rooms, and he is asking them uh, what their names are and if they have already shared a kiss. And at the end, the whole of Rome rejoices because they have been given permission to marry. And we'll finish that section then with um, a gorgeous little piece. Again, it's based on the theme of love, but this time unrequited love, uh, Zorongo. And a young gypsy girl is madly in love, and alas, the love is unrequited. And she is driven mad because she hopes that what happens in her dreams can become a reality, and that, unfortunately, is not the case. Three. 
So the next two pieces are by a very well-known uh, composer called Litsa Calvenes, and uh, wrote many, many works for the piano, uh, and all of them have been transcribed for the guitar. They work very well on the guitar. Um, the first one is Asturias, also known as Leenda, and the second one is a slower piece called Capriccio Catalan. In the first piece, you'll hear many uh, many elements from the Andalusian flamenco style.
It is thought that this next song was taught to Federico by his great uncle, um, who himself was a, a musician who used to perform in Malaga, and in particular in a bar or a nightclub in Malaga called uh, Café de Chinita. And so this next song, El Café de Chinita, is one where a young bullfighter is boasting to his brother and to his cousin, telling them that he is a much better bullfighter than them. And he says to them that at half past four today, the bull must die. And then they walk out into the street, they leave the cafe, and they see a poster of um, Chinita. And he is indeed uh, a bullfighter. And that's where the story ends in the song. So we don't know what happened. I like to think it was maybe a draw and that neither the bull nor um, Chinita met their demise. But I guess that's up to our imagination or perhaps the sequel folk song, if there is such a thing. Um, and we'll follow that with Nana de Sevilla, which is a beautiful song which tells of a baby that has been abandoned in the street by its mother and it has no cradle. And it's a happy ending though because its father is a carpenter and he will make one for him.
So we're going to finish today's program with two final songs from the uh, Canciones Españolas Antiguas. And uh, the final two, uh, the first, Los Rejas de la Baraja, it's really a simple playground song. Uh, the refrain is, run or I'll catch you, run or I'll snatch you. And if I catch you, I will rub mud all over your face. So it's a little bit violent, but perhaps it was done in a gentle way in the Spanish playgrounds, we don't know. But um, we'll follow that then with, again, along with And the Jaleo is probably, you know, the other best known song from the collection, La Tarara. And it tells of a young girl who's dressed in a green dress and she has frills and bells on her dress and she dances for the boys who are working in the olive groves and she bewitches them. So we finish with those two songs and we'd just like to, before we go, say a huge thank you to Mary and to everyone here at the gallery and to Burr and Stephen, everyone who makes it possible to bring this concert series uh, to people far and wide. Um, and so it's a real pleasure for us to be here and hopefully next time we see you all it'll be in person in this beautiful gallery space. So we leave you with these two final songs. Si tu madre quiere abrir la barra, tiene cuatro, re de oro, re de copa, re de espadas, re de pastos, corre que te pillo, corre que te agarro, mira que te lleno. Cintura para lo muchacho de la sol.